Hey guys, so today I have my very first pregnancy vlog for you. Um, obviously I've never done this before, so hopefully I do it right, but I don't think there's exactly any right way to do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you didn't know, obviously we're expecting a first little one in June, around June 11th. I'm just hoping I don't go like two weeks late, but who knows. Um, yeah, and I feel a little awkward because I haven't filmed in almost two months, which is a little crazy and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I figured this video would be a good way to come back so I can just kind of talk to you about what's been going on. Um, I haven't filmed anything since even before we knew and we found out, okay, I'll just go to the very beginning, um, about, oh, I feel like I'm in a tunnel. My ear. Oh, okay, here. Anyway, um, about the very beginning of August, we decided to start a family. And obviously I was hoping it wouldn't take a very long time, but I mean, obviously if you've never tried before, never been pregnant, anything, then obviously you don't know. Um, I had been off the pill already for um, a long time because that just kind of like messed with my system and did weird things. So um, yeah, I had been off of that since December. But um, so you we were just careful in other ways. <laughs> so yeah, we decided at the very beginning of August, um, my friend Sierra's baby shower was just a few days later, so that was fun. Um, but obviously, we weren't telling people. Um, and then, so it didn't happen that first month, obviously. But it was really frustrating <laughs> because beginning of September, um, I was like super bloated and I was almost a week late. And we did like a million tests and all negative. And so I need to say that was a little disappointing. But I mean, you know, it was the first month, so that's okay. And then, so the next month comes around, um, beginning of October, I, beginning of October, I didn't want to get my hopes up because of what happened the month before. And so I waited until I was nine days late <laughs> and finally took a test and it was instantly clear positive. So yay, um, we were so excited. Justin was pretty much in shock and he was obviously happy, but he's like, are you sure that it's right? You know, I was like, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get a, a negative, like a false positive. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, and I was, had like super sore chest and everything, um, and <laughs> I was very, very late, and so, um, yeah, so at five weeks, we found out, and then over the next week, not much happened, um, it was really about the same, um, six, six and a half weeks, um, well, around that time, like, I already was, I was wanting to film another video, and this was kind of the beginning of my long absence, but then, um, I had a really horrible cold, and I was super busy about, like, right after we found out, and then six and a half weeks, right as I was getting over the really bad cold, um, morning sickness hit, like, crazy. I was so nauseous, like, all day, um, I pretty much get sick, like, almost every morning, um, I also get pretty nauseous like late at night. Um, sorry, I keep saying, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it was not fun. Um, I should say, I guess I'm very thankful that we are expecting and I'm just telling you my personal experience. I'm not complaining because I knew, you know, obviously all this would be a part of it. Just so yeah, I do still feel very blessed and I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you my personal experience just because I get really sick doesn't mean you will. So obviously everyone is different. Um, but yeah, six and a half weeks, it hit really bad. And then um, a few days later, I started taking Unisom and vitamin B6 to 
together at night and that did really help. Um, I still a lot of times would get sick in the morning but then I'd like I'd be okay like throughout the day and um, yeah I just have to make sure I don't get like super super hungry or anything. I always bring like a cup of yogurt with me to work so I can eat it before lunch and that helps a lot. Okay so seven weeks seven and a half weeks about um yeah it kind of rolls over like every Thursday so um like on Thanksgiving day I hit 12 weeks so uh, I feel like I'm not very good at explaining this um but by now it's like I've kind of forgotten a little bit what's happened but at seven weeks we told Justin's parents, his mom and stepdad, he, um, he had already called his his dad in California and um, his brothers, his half brothers, and told them. And I had I had called my I had told my mom and my sister Sarah. I hadn't gotten to tell everybody else yet. We had to live like all around the country, but we told his mom and stepdad, and they were super excited too. His mom like cried. She's wanted grandkids forever. <laughs> And um, so they're really excited. And then the next day it was Monday. I was still feeling all, all this point. Um, there were very, like very few things I could eat. And a lot of things made me gag. Like opening the fridge sometimes would make me gag. And like at this around this point, all I wanted was like pizza and bagels and stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah. The next day I went down to Toledo with my friends Hannah and Sierra to get a haircut from her friend so, so it was super affordable and I'm glad we did that because we had a good time because um, as most of you know, um, especially if you saw my last video which was just like a slideshow, the next day um, was when we early that morning I got a voicemail from my mom saying it was urgent and um, <sighs> Justin called her back and um, put on speakerphone. <sighs> okay, I thought I wouldn't fall. I lost it as soon as she said we couldn't find Josh last night. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, pregnancy hormones don't help either. And um that was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. My little brother is gone just like that. I haven't seen him since January. My last visit home. And uh, he had such a bright future ahead of him. He was so young and um, he was only 17. He was so smart. Um, like he would try to explain like theories of quantum physics and everything <laughs> to people, and like my dad was telling me that, and just like things that most people like don't understand at all. Like he could explain in like detail, and he was the funniest too. He loved to crack jokes. He was a peacemaker, and like my brother said, he always just wanted everybody to get along. And <sighs> now he's gone, and um, I don't understand. I don't know understand like why that's what he wanted. 
I mean, he took his own life. I mean, in a way, it's, it's good to know that, you know, his life wasn't stolen from him by someone else. But... <sighs> something we won't know until we get to heaven, but I'm just thankful that I know that I will see him again there, and, um... <sighs> it's definitely the hardest thing I've ever had to go through, and for my whole family, too. I mean, it's not the first time I've lost a loved one. Um, when I was five, we lost my sister, Rebecca, and um, she was three and a half. It was the day after my fifth birthday. And obviously that was hard when I missed her, but at that age, it's just, it's just not the same. Like, even for my parents, like, I know this time was harder, so much harder. And, um, I lost my grandpa just this past January, um, around the same time that my parents divorced, and that was hard, but none of that even slightly compared to this. I mean, like, my grandpa lived a good long life, and it was expected, and he was getting sick, and all my mom and her brothers and sisters got to go down and spend some time with him and say goodbye. And, you know, obviously that was sad and I cried, but it wasn't anything like this. So anyway, obviously after that, um, obviously I needed a little bit of a break. And I wasn't ready to just like dive right back in. And for those first like few weeks, um, between morning sickness and being kind of in like morning, uh, I just really had no interest in makeup. I just kind of monotonously put it on so I would look presentable and now I'm finally like getting back into it and really enjoying it and I can feel like my kind of obsession like growing again and I'm just having more fun with it and I'm really like you know I'm doing a lot better. So yeah um Ugh, now my voice is like shaky. Um, but anyway, obviously, so that was around the funeral. We drove down, um, was the day I was turned like eight weeks pregnant. And I think I did okay pretty much the whole time we were there and through traveling, I didn't get sick at all. Um, but as soon as we got back, I started getting sick again. I don't know why. But, um, I would pretty much get sick like almost every morning and through like almost nine weeks. And then about 10 to 11, it started to get a lot better, and I haven't gotten sick nearly as much. Um, I'm able to enjoy more foods. Like, I really did enjoy, like, that Thanksgiving food and everything. I was fine pretty much all day. I think it's, like, yesterday, which was really random. I don't know. Maybe I just waited too long to eat, or maybe it was the deviled egg that I had. It was weird, because I just, like, I heated, I heated up my leftovers. I got sick. And then I ate, and I was fine. So I don't know what happened there, but yeah. Anyway, lately it's been a lot more better and more manageable. I'm able to enjoy coffee again in the morning for a while there. Like, it was just not happening. And so I was even more tired <laughs> because I couldn't enjoy my coffee. And um, yeah, but today I slept until like 12. And I'm not even ashamed because <laughs> I was super tired. And yesterday I didn't sleep well because... We didn't get home until I got to bed at 4.30 in the morning because <laughs> after we went shopping and then I woke up probably around, I kept waking up and so I didn't really sleep well and then I finally rolled out of bed probably around 11, 11.30ish but really I just, you know, I didn't sleep well and <laughs> so last night I slept like 12 hours and kind of made up for that but now, let's see, I'm 12 weeks and let's see, according to my app, baby app, baby bump, baby is 2.9 inches and about the size of a peach. So that is really exciting. Um, oh, I'm going to just show you guys the ultrasound picture. Um, but if you go on my Instagram, it is on there. Um, but... Yeah, we are super excited and 
I just, I can't wait to start getting baby stuff. Um, I did get one little, I have one little onesie that I got that we told Justin's parents with. It says daddy plus mommy equals me. And it's kind of like a light blue, so it's kind of gender neutral. And then when we were out shopping, I got a Michigan onesie. <laughs> it says I'm too cute to be a Spartans fan. So, um, yeah, that was fun. And, um, sorry if you're a Spartans fan, Michigan State. Justin's best friend, Chad, is, but <laughs> yeah, um, he's a big Michigan fan, so. So I'm hoping to be back with more frequent videos now, um, obviously more than the last two months, but um, hopefully more than once a week. I want to be doing, you know, kind of an equal balance of like baby and beauty videos. So um, yeah. Hopefully you'll enjoy, um, I know I wa enjoyed watching um, like pregnancy vlogs even before we were expecting, so hopefully you can enjoy them too, um, even if you're not, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! You, you just moved it. There. Oh, oh, oh. There. <laughs> so the red button is on the screen? Yes. Okay. It is. Alright. <laughs> Shut the door. Yeah.